The anatomy of government sponsorship for sports has undergone a makeover in the recent past. Last month, President Museveni popped eyes when he tapped into his war chest and handed the dozen athletes that represented Uganda at the World Athletics Championships with 12 million shillings apiece. Museveni also handed Olympic and World Marathon champion Stephen Kipratich an SUV, a house and monthly stipend. Not done, the president also promised the Uganda Athletics Federation a $350,000 kitty to organize next year's Africa Cross Country Championship in Kampala. Museveni's newfound passion for sponsoring sports has also extended to football. At the tail end of last month, the president handed the cranes 384 million shillings to have a substantial build-up before Saturday's World Cup qualifier against Senegal. The president described the handout as small beer. Small beer or otherwise, the impact of the president's handout is already being felt. Last weekend, playing with a vigor never seen before, the Cranes secured a rare 3-1 road victory against Botswana. This is something that the immediate past FUFA president envisaged. I think it is something which has been lacking and I feel that uh, with the kind of players that we have, with this kind of meeting which they have had with the president, it acts as a moral booster. If there is any doubt as to what money can do, Saturday's result against Senegal could go a long way in confounding it. A win will confirm the long-held belief that government support is a driver for sporting success. Government has not always been a keen supporter of sports. Before last month's mighty splash, the biggest windfall it earmarked for football came in 2004 when 55 million and 330,000 shillings was availed for the 2006 World Cup qualifying double-header matches against Democratic Republic of Congo and Cape Verde. Back then, the Cranes never came close to qualifying for the World Cup. Government will be hoping for much better results this time round.